Now it is a time to configure and debug sessions for both cores. So important point, it is coming from reference manual RM0453 for STM32WL55 devices. The important point is that uh, this microcontroller have two debug ports. Port 0 is dedicated for Cortex-M4 core and port 1 is dedicated uh, to Cortex-M0 plus core. This you can see within this picture which is coming from mentioned reference manual. Having this knowledge, we can open the debug configurations by pressing this down arrow next to the back icon. But before this, I would highlight first Cortex M4. We will start from this one. Uh, I would go to this back icon, down arrow, debug configurations. I would double click on this. I can see that uh, the proper ELF file is selected. Within the debugger, I would keep the default GDB se settings. Connect under reset, halt all cores, just to stop all of them in the same time. I would uh, enable both options within cross-trigger interface to be sure that once I stop one core, the second one would be stopped automatically. And uh, I need to check whether the shard S-Link is selected. So all is configured properly. Then within startup, I've got the default uh, load image and symbols only for Cortex-M4 and uh, I would extend it to load uh, both uh, binaries, so for Cortex-M0 Plus and Cortex-M4 in the same time. So I go to add, select Cortex-M0 Plus, build configuration debug, and I would disable load symbols. This we will do within uh, debug session for Cortex M0 Plus. I press OK. So we can see that we will build and download both, let's say, binaries, both projects at the same time. And the first one which would be run would be Cortex M4, which is really, uh, it should be like this. If you will have a different order, you can move it up and down using those two buttons. Now I can press apply, but no debug. Okay and close and now i click on left button and mouse on this cortex m0 plus project go to to configure the debug session for this uh, core go to back icon down arrow debug configurations double click on this uh, cortex mcc plus plus application i can see that now uh, cortex m0 plus elf file has been selected go to debugger I need to increase this number, port number, because uh, the first port has been selected for Cortex M M4 and uh, we are now using the next one from the GDB server. Uh, so access port is correctly selected. Uh, we will disable reset uh, because we don't want to reset the micro ones, the ones we will load the symbols for Cortex M0 Plus. Uh, we will allow let's say enable the CTI so cross trigger interface uh, to have synchronous stop and resume with Cortex M4 and shared Esther link is already selected. I click apply and go to startup. Within startup I will not add anything more but I would just modify this by clicking uh, highlighting and clicking edit and I would disable download. Download will be done already within uh, Cortex M4 debug configuration. The only thing we would like to, to trigger within this uh, uh, debug procedure for Cortex M0 Plus would be loading the symbols. I click OK, apply and close. Now we are ready to start a debug session. Let's do a short summary of this part activities. Thank you for your attention.